I'd like to explain how I got here, but first... Welcome to Conan, the Souls-like survival game with a vast open world and thousands of secrets that we need to unfold. Biomes are harsh and enemies are undeniably strong, but I have 100 days to prove that I am the king of the exiled lands. Before we get started, please consider subscribing because I put a lot of work into this, but without further ado, watch me become an absolute beefcake within 100 days. On day one when I spawned in, I was in a massive desert with no water, so I just started gathering some nearby resources and then figured I would be on my way. If a dragon pops out of nowhere, I will probably turn off the game. Oh, there's some branches here too. Nice. Excuse the f front door, brother. What? Oh, there's a dragon over there. I have available points. I have one. So it has to be... There we go. So I can unlock this. Attributes. Let's do another into grit. Craft, craft, craft. There we go. And it just immediately equips it to me when it crafts. That's that's really nice. Okay. Every level you gain, one attribute point can be spent to improve. Okay. Let's just keep going grit. So now that I have this, can I now... Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Give me that sword, baby. The first 10 minutes or so of this playthrough was me just figuring out all of the controls, learning the game, and then crafting all of the starter tools. We have to kill an enemy now. Let's go kill an enemy, shall we? Okay, so it's like Elden Ring survival. Oh man, I like this combat a lot. This is fun. Oh, that's really fun, dude. Let me craft this these wraps real quick. And how many does that give you? It gives you three. Okay. Oh, we got some hide, some bone, some flesh. Oh, there's the water. That's all. Oh, look at those statues, man. Owie. I'm not good at fighting yet. I'm not. Just get, give me a break. Uh, how do I take all space bar? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey, 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 hey. Food goes in. Oh, easy enough. Crafting cookie. Okay. And then that comes out of it. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Use your hatchet to cut down a tree. Okay. I don't know if I should be following all these or kind of just doing my own thing. What? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, just a regular wall. Nighttime was approaching quick, so I wanted to get this box built up that way I could hide out inside because I'm afraid of the dark and new survival games, you know? You feel me? But by the time I got the box finished, it was daytime already, so... Nice, nice, look at that. We have our little home. This is our home. My name is Sizen. I'm a warrior. Alright, let's kill this guy. I've had it with the way you're looking at me. Oh, look at that flawless dodge done by your boy, Sizen. Yours truly. What are you attacking? Dude, sit down. You're nothing. What's, what's the supply materials? Let's, let's use this. What's in there? What did that give me? A bunch of stone. My goodness. Oh, what it gave me a lasting feast. Owie! Oh, the club is crazy. The club is crazy. Did you see that purple stuff? Dude, that's really cool, man. Oh, an iron sword. I will take that, gladly. You can keep my stone sword. Ooh, I really like the swimming in this game. Press C to go down. Oh, that's nice. Is it just me or is this one bigger than normal? This one looks bigger than normal. It has a skull! All right, I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away, because he looks really scary and he has a skull. Oh my god, that almost killed me in one shot. I'm swimming, I'm, I'm swimming, I'm swimming, I'm swimming, I'm swimming. Note to self, do not mess with the guy with the skull. He looks like uh, a Pokemon. I wasn't 100% sure on what I was supposed to be doing at this point in the game, so I was just doing all the starting journeys so I could level up. I wanted to get a decent foundation built for my character before I left this area for good, you know? All right, I think um, 
Let's pull up the- oh, oh my goodness. How do I zoom out? Oh my goodness gracious. Where am I? You know, I kind of want to build more central of the map. That way things are easier to access. Kind of like- it already shows me everything that's on this map. So maybe somewhere like right around here. You can. You can just climb in this game. That's cool. So it looks like I'll be traveling for a long time. Think I'm fast enough to kill one of these guys? No, that's a hyena. Oh, I'm about to die here. I'm about to die here. I'm about to die here. I was quickly realizing how dangerous this game was and also the fact that I had to travel probably five days to get to where I wanted to go. Oh no, keep running, keep running, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a lot of spiders, bro. Oh, hell to the no. You got me messed up, bro. Please give me my stamina back. Please give me my stamina. I, I can scale down a mountain, right? I can do that, that's a thing. Well, I guess I can now, just figure that out. Let's see, this looks like something I might need. Oh, why in the hell does this look so creepy? Oh, we got we got someone worshiping. All right, that's one down. That's one down. Nope, those look like tarantulas. No, thank you. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? All right, there's one dead. That went well. Oh, there's some metal there. Oh my goodness, man. There's so many. No way, 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 no way. That was so clutch. Sit down, dude. Get obliterated, man. What do we got in here? Leather satchel, brimstone. Don't know what brimstone is, but we'll take it. I kept getting sidetracked on my way to my destination by fighting through camps, which didn't really give me much of anything until this one. What do you have on you though? What is that, a cutlass? That's hot. A black hand vest. Is that any better than what I'm wearing right now? Medium armor, armor value 59. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so much better. What is that, like a big pirate ship? Oh, damn it. That scared me. I don't know what this green aura is up here, but it's frightening as hell. So I guess we'll find out once we get up here. Y'all ever heard that saying, curiosity killed the cat? Well... You could have told me I was gonna die. So after getting my stuff back, I decided to stop being curious and just head to my destination. I just marked something random on the map and hoped for the best, but this is beautiful, man. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm definitely building here. After scouting the area, I found a place that I liked, so I started clearing out all the rocks and trees and then placing down my foundation. Though it was tedious, I'm glad I kept up with the journeys because they taught me all about the crafting stations and what I could do with each and every one of them. I need a lot of twine, a lot of wood, and a lot of stone. Okay, here we go with the grind yet again. Oh, there's metal over here. That's nice. Armor's bench. We can now place it. Sweet. Okay, I got that journey finished. Now it wants me to do craft light padding. Uh, craft light padding and the crafting bench. I won't go through what every crafting station does, but for the main ones, I'll talk about briefly for those of you who don't know this game. We'll start with the obvious. The armorer's bench is how you make armor. Let's equip this now. Sweet. Now we look like a complete dweeb. But it's a lot better than we started off. Before going off on any crazy journeys, I wanted to get all of the essentials crafted up. The furnace, the armorer's workbench, the blacksmith, all of the good stuff. That way I could suit myself up before fighting anything else. What does a furnace need? It needs wood to burn. Plus iron stone. That makes iron. Okay, so it's two to one ratio. And between my journeys and all my farming, I also had to kill some boars because, you know, hide was a little bit hard to come across for a wee little lad like myself. Oh, that's a lot of iron stone. Look at that. I don't know how necessary iron stone or iron's gonna be. I guess we'll find out. Coal, it wants us to do coal now. Dude, there was, I, I've already harvested coal. Why do you want me to do it again? Oh, coal does- okay, coal is way better than wood. Requires a bunch of stone, which I think I have, actually. Yes, I can place this damn thing. That's perfect. Iron pick. 
Oh, that's not that bad. Branch, that's really easy, actually. Craft. Let's get the sickle crafted because for some reason, twine is so hard for me to freaking deal with. Let's see how well the sickle works. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get all that cooking. I'll take that. I took a short break from grinding to check out all of the things I could spend my knowledge points on, and I was quite confused with the weapons and what would be the best thing I could use at the moment. Should I craft some head armor just to have it? Because what is that? It's six armor, which isn't much, but it's better than nothing, I think. Now I look like a crazy mother. I think I get to skin the corpse of an animal. We'll try that first. I'm not gonna lie, getting everything set up at the beginning of the game, all of your stations, is quite tedious and it takes a long time. But once all of that is out of the way, the meat of the gameplay is next. Oh, okay, cool. I could do it on an animal. Oh my goodness, the armor gives you carrying capacity. And as you've just witnessed, I learned that different armors have different attributes. I am so smart, man. And it also makes tar. Okay, cool. Why are there so many things? It's wood? Okay, I need to make a second floor, apparently. Kind of want to put, like, a little overlook. Let's get fancy with the building, shall we? Look at that. We're moving up in the world, friends. Dude, I look like Johnny Depp, man. Do I not? Do I not look exactly like Johnny Depp? Two-handed sword. Let's, let's up our damage here. Oh, this is way stronger, man. This is way stronger. Now we can make a lot of brick. There we go. And just like that, we were approaching day 10. I had already done all of the basic stuff around my house. I got all of the basic crafting stations placed. Oh, damn. Savory fish, exotic fish. All right, well, I'm feeling pretty damn good about our progress so far. It's day 10, and we have done a lot. We're level 25. We have a, our, our full little workshop base going here. So what I'm hearing is we need to go out on an adventure and fight some people. I think over armor, I need stronger weapons, and I think I'm getting better at dodging and stuff. I just need... I need better weapons. I need to do more damage. Oh, is, is this where I'm trying to go? What the hell is that place? Ah, screw it, right? Come on. God, that's a lot of health. And there's another dog up there. Oh my gosh, why do these have so much health? Oh, damn. 42k? What are they fighting over there? Oh, it's about to be me! I was not ready. I was not ready. I was not ready. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Dude, I am not ready. Can you can you have a dragon in this game? That would be nuts, man. Just being able to fly around. God, I wish. Whoa. The, the, uh, it's a bridge to nothing. Why did I think otherwise? Or is this just nothing? This is just emptiness. It's just a building of emptiness bullcrap. Another stone wall that talks to me and means nothing. How much do you want to freaking bet? Oh, damn. Am I gonna have to fight through, like, armies of people? Maybe I'll find some good stuff. Maybe it'll be rewarding. Sizen spends 100 days running across the vast desert and never finds a single enemy. I hear people. Where are the people at? I hear people, but there's no people. Oh, dude, what? Is that a damn werewolf? Oh, wait. Are these sorcerers? Oh! Oh! That scared the hell out of me, bro! Oh my god, my heart's beating so quick. That scared me so much. I died! Here we go. No, 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 come on! That's so cheap. Oh god, I just barely made it out of that. I'm better than all of you. Uh, my chest is 59 armor. This is so much better. Plus 20 health. Now we have over 300 health. What does you have? Hyena fur boots? Okay, hold up. Hold up. 60 armor. Eight? 
Oh, man. My current is armor value three. That's 24, man. That's so good. Screw the hook. I'm looking sick now. My armor's 318 before it was like... What, 150 or 100? I spent almost three full days in this place, but luckily it helped me learn a lot about combat and my fighting skills. Seeing as I was struggling with just your common everyday enemy, I was going to have a lot of trouble in the future. All these people respawned. All these people respawned, bro. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm just not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. I was getting way too ahead of myself. I headed to the Black Galleon where, as you can see, I got swarmed by a thousand people and I was never going to have a chance at surviving here. Is there, like, is there anything that's reasonable for me to take on by myself? Why am I gaining corruption? I don't know what that means. When I get close to this place, I gain corruption. Oh, this is a sorcerer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't care about the chef. I don't care about the chef. Find and defeat a sorcerer. Oh, let's go, man. Okay, what does he have on him? Cloth satchel. Okay, what does this journey want me to do now? Find the hidden sorcerer's cave. The map dropped from the defeated sorcerer leads to where the, the secrets of sorcery can be learned. I don't know what the hell that means. This looks exactly like this. The so Y is over here. It goes under the curve. It looks exactly the same. So I need to be going somewhere. That's that's where I need to be going. That that looks exactly... Look, keep this in your mind. Keep this in your mind. And tell me if I'm right. That's the Y. It bends. Before going back out, I wanted to look for some aloe because I wanted to make the concentrate potions since I was getting pretty messed up during fighting and it would allow me to heal a lot easier. But I searched through the entire night and found literally not a single plant, so this was a bust. My weapons, uh, my damage just sucks, man. What does this do? A potion that causes hallucinations and visions? What the freaking hell? After playing around at home for a little bit, I decided to just hit up the sorcerer's cave. Should be Oh, there it is. I think. When they get into this cave... Oh, is this it? When I first entered the cave and started fighting the shellback, I noticed that my corruption levels were going up yet again. And that's when I learned that as your corruption goes up, your maximum health gets reduced permanently. Undead Kappa, 57,000 experience. All right, let's heal. Oh, wait, does it permanently take away my health? What, in the dog water, brother? It took me about 10 minutes to kill one of these things, and then there was two more. So uh, you do the math, it took me a while. All right, baby, there's two down, two down. These things are giving a lot of experience. All right, there we go. There's another Kappa dead. Keep making it through, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. Spider webs? Oh, what the hell is this? Journey completes. All right, touch the tome, and you will gain blasphemous and sorcerous powers. Why do I feel like it's not that easy? Why do I feel like I have to fight through someone? Basic sorcery, where to power ice bridge, where to power reveal corruption. I feel like I'm gonna start needing to extend my base um, because I'm running out of spot for all these stupid tables. There can't just be like two things that you can craft everything in. Oh, what the hell, arcane staff? A one-handed staff used by sorcerers as a focus to cast spells and iron bar I already have. Where do I find crystal at? Spoiler alert, I never used magic. I didn't really care to, and it didn't seem like my path that I wanted to take. So going forward, I won't explain too much about it. What is this? Can I farm all this? Oh, there's a big boy. There's a big boy. There we go. Imp King. That gave me nothing for experience. Keep going, though. Let's heal. Let's, let's just explore this whole cave while we're here. Might as well. Oh, is there like a whole thing under here? Man, I really trusted the process on that one. What the hell is this? What in God's creation, man, has so much health? When I tell you this fight went on forever, I'm not joking. It was into the night, into the next morning, and he wasn't even at half health. Shoot, man, I'm about to die. I gotta go. He's gonna full heal, but that's, I, I, I can't do anything about that. Yep, I'm dead.
And then I died again because my weapon broke, and I said a lot of bad words here, so I had to cut out the audio, but I had a different plan. Bring a katana with us. Alright, damn it, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. One thing I did love about this game is when you went to go pick up your stuff, the enemy that killed you wouldn't aggro you for a little bit, giving you that chance. Get me in the water, get me in the water. Oh man, I don't have crap for armor. Turns out my assessment was absolutely correct. Bringing the katana was the best thing I could have done because the heavy attack staggered this guy enough to where he wasn't breaking my guard. And as you can see, the bleed damage stacking up was going to help me kill him a lot faster. That's bleed damage, which is really nice. And then I learned that you can spam the light attack until you run out of stamina. So literally infinite attacks. But just because I had the katana and I was doing way better doesn't mean this fight still didn't take forever. Come on, come on, come on. Katana's crazy. Alright, here it is. Here it is. This is it. Oh my goodness gracious. We finally got there. We finally got there. Give me that. What is that? Armor penetration. A curved sword with a single sharp edge. Take. I am over encumbered. Withered heart. I feel like I should take that. Your sacrifice has been accepted. You don't have the required item. What? I, I, I gave the sacrifice. So you're not going to let me into the chest that I just gave the withered heart for. Oh, I have five unspent points. Let's go. Before you guys judge my attribute point tree, please know that I had no idea what I was doing, but I would fix this later on. Don't worry, don't worry. I finally got the Thaumaturgy bench placed down, which is where you upgrade your book of Karak or whatever it's called, but I never use sorcery, so we'll skip this. What do we have here? Linda. Use a soul into flesh, eliminating their path. I have a strong feeling that 200 days will be in the future, so maybe we'll mess around with sorcery then. Oh. Find the summoning place. I wanted to do the cartographer journey because it seemed like it brought me to a bunch of important locations, so I needed new armor. My situation was looking a little rough. My chest piece was broken, all I had was pants and boots. Easy. That gives me fur. Uh, a little bit of hide. Okay. We need to go on a hide farm, baby. Look at that. Katana makes life easy. 78 hide. We're still gonna need more. I think there's a bunch of bears over here. I should be able to take them on now. You're easy. You're easy. You're easy. I can definitely say that early game at least, impatience is what kills most people, especially me, because I don't do enough damage to this bear, so I'm wanting to get more attacks in per dodge, and it's going terribly because I've gotten hit quite a few times already. Dude, this bear is taking forever to kill. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oops, that was a mistake. Oh my god, he just almost destroyed me. Passive heal, passive heal. Let's go, 52,000 experience. Ooh, that was a close one, huh? Bear pelts. And feral flesh. Man, that's heavy. And now that I had all of this hide and fur, I was hopefully going to be able to craft some decent armor, which would help my survivability. Maybe. What is that? Oh, thick leather. That Bears are how you get thick leather. That's nice. That's good to know. Okay, so heavy padding is 40 thick leather that's a lot man that puts us at 40 so we can make some heavy padding now craft one that's 140 dude we can craft that how much does that weigh 29 pounds carrying capacity gives me a lot more though so it kind of evens out look at that armor all right and with that i can craft a cowboy hat oh my goodness i look like half pirate half knight half barbarian 
I'm going with all the role playing. I don't think there's any more big bears around here. Since we are approaching day 30 already, I just wanted to quickly say that if I had played this game before, I probably could have gotten everything set up a lot sooner, maybe even 15 days sooner. But on a side note, I'm also really happy with my progression. Let's finish off my armor and then we will go on an adventure. Is that a bear up there? I think I see a bear. Friends, I think I see a bear. Come on, big boy. Oh, that's a boss bear. There we go, we got two stacks of blood. Oh, that's not good, 152? This whole fight took me 10 minutes, so we're gonna speed it up a little bit because uh, it was a long one. This bear jacked me up. He did 152 damage per hit, which was scary because if I took two hits, I was dead. So I had to play super patient, which is not my forte. Oh, let's go! Though it was a tough fight, it was worth it because I needed that last bit of bear pelt for armor. This is your boy size and getting sidetracked because I was supposed to go on an adventure. Oh, uh, we have to unlock it first, okay. So now we can craft a stove. Oh man, there's some cool stuff you can cook in here. Eggs, exotic feast. I need exotic flesh. Craft fish strips in the crafting panel of the stove. Fish strips is used with each of the fishies. Got some fish here and some fishes here. Damn, why can't I take that? Thank you. All right, let's see how this works. Let's go to our stove, put all of our fishies in here and I should be able to craft fish strips. Oh, good lord. It took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out that the stove just needed wood to fire. Okay, after doing so, craft tar in a tannery. I've done that a thousand times, but it's... Fun. For a while, I thought you could only craft weapons, so I started the steelsmith journey, that way I could craft steel weapons. I didn't know that you could find really good weapons from doing certain dungeons, but I would soon find out. So for the next 10 days, I went out on a huge adventure trying to find better gear. Dude, I can just the katana is wild, man. I can just slice through everyone. There's a lot of them. Oh, dude, this armor is crazy. I could just tank these guys out. Sorcerer, lightning rod guardian head. All right, let's continue. This is fun. And especially since I have the, uh, uh, that perk that regenerates my health passively, I feel unstoppable. Let's go, friends. This place wasn't overflowing with weapons or armor as far as loot goes, but what it did offer me was guardian parts, and I had no clue what to do with those. Iron guardian torso, explosive guardian head. Okay, I want to take that. Katana so good, katana so great, katana kills everyone in my face. I feel like that's like a Billy Madison song. Damn, okay, okay, she messing me up. She's messing me up. Arrow guy is so annoying, bro. Let's go, big man. You're so big and bad from a distance. I'll take it. What you got? Brimstone. Okay, I fa I found brimstone, but it wants me to harvest it. Wait, all right. Uh, dude, where the hell am I gonna find this brimstone? I need brimstone. Oh. Oh, we're close to that thing. Oh, hell to the no, brother. I hear screams. Oh, these are my people. Oh, not my people, but... Oh. What are you doing, dude? The harder I grasped, the more the truth... This guy bored the hell out of me. I didn't listen to a single word he said, so I just skipped through his dialogue and it offered me nothing. So I left. All right, I have a feeling that I might be able to find brimstone if I go back to that area, so I'm gonna head there. That's the place with the, uh, I think there was a werewolf, and it originally screwed me up, but now I'm way better suited up. Strength, what is that one? Uh, equipped armor, 25% less. Okay, three more points there. I love how I said I was way better suited up to take on this place, yet here I am under half health getting screwed up by humans. Now that I'm watching this part back, this is actually hilarious. What is that? Mold brew? Oh, I'm very hot. That was stupid. My health is going down so quick. Why am I dying so quick? Because I have a heat stroke? Please do not let me die like this. I can't handle it. What do you want from me? 
Oh, thank you. Good God, that was so scary. I saved my katana for you, big boy. Owie. Owie. Okay, I've had enough. I've had enough. Werewolf's kind of scary, brother. War hyena. That's all I got from you. That doesn't feel good. It really doesn't. Okay, this cook is crazy, bro. This cook is crazy. Oh, dude, that's a big boss down there. I have no idea what I was trying to achieve in this place, but I feel like it was vengeance rather than loot hunting. Oh, God, I'm so dead. Oh, hell no, bro. Is it possible with two of these guys? Ouch. Come on, man. If I get hit one time by this guy, I'm dead. All right. Big boys left. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! I'm gonna have to refight that big werewolf. That sucks, dude. I had him so low. I, am I supposed to even be here right now, guys? I don't have the ch uh, that's pretty good. Stone iron arm. After continuously getting beaten up with no way to heal, I figured I would go look for some aloe next. I'm gonna go look for aloe, and then we're gonna go back to that location. We have three katanas. I think we're set on fighting. All right, you can get aloe with a sickle, right? Oh, damn, bro. You get so much aloe. Oh my gosh. I can make those weak aloe extracts in my inventory and it only takes 30 aloe okay rough wraps goodbye brimstone is somewhere in this area while i sit here and search for brimstone like a dumb dumb i just wanted to say that by this point i had thought about getting the thrall or some kind of pet but i had no idea how to do it what i did know is that having one would make surviving a hell of a lot easier <gasps> i found brimstone that's definitely brimstone they're guarding it damn okay okay I gained a level. I dodged a bullet. Where are you going? Where are you going? Brimstone is a beautiful looking thing, my friends. Uh, attributes, I have a level. I need one more level and then I can make my armor weigh 25% less and carry a lot more. Okay, that's all we can carry before we're encumbered. 363, I got a bunch of aloe. I got what I came for and I'm going home a rich man. There's something wrong with it. I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I just don't wanna be a chef, screw it. I don't care. All right, craft steel fire. Steel fire is crafted in a fireball cauldron and is key ingredients recipes such as steel bars and dragon powder. Tar and this brimstone. Now we should be able to make quite a bit. 159. Place iron bars, steel fire, and fuel in the furnace. Damn, steel is expensive. Your boy is gonna get himself a damn rhino. I need a rhinoceros. How do I get a rhinoceros? I have to steal a rhinoceros. Oh, look at that. Look at that gruel. Okay, okay. All right, your boy just needs to go steal a baby rhinoceros. That should be fun. And we are approaching day 40. In the morning, it will be day 40. And I feel like we are so far behind. I couldn't have said it better. Playing something new for a 100 day video is hard when you have no direction, but I'll catch on very soon. I All promise. Right, give me that steel pick, baby. Oh, steel smith is done. Hardened steel smith. Oh, good God. Gather black ice. Oh, what? Good thing I'm right next to the snow biome. There we go. Strength, second skin. Oh, look at that. Our armor weighs so much less now. Okay, 61%. So we have half of our, almost half of our inventory empty. Let's go to the snow biome, baby. If you've never played this game before, that is probably the dumbest thing I've ever said. I'm very cold. I don't even know where to begin to look for black eyes. Extremely cold. Hunger rate slightly increased. Health is dropping. Fantastic. So I can't be in this area yet, but I want to go up there. That looks so cool. What is this, bro? Health damage one? Oh, it's for knocking people out. I have a feeling I should take that, but I'm not going to. I don't remember doing this, but I'm so upset at myself for it. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take on this place by myself. What is this? Mana Thrider Shanty? Hasten our Lord's study. Oh. But time is oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, chill, dude. I'm gonna die. Come on, come on, come on. All right, the wolves are dead. I got another level. 
let's go, uh, expertise. Let's just say that everything you're about to witness was the reason I had a huge shifting point in this playthrough. Okay, bro, the chick's swinging the hammer, man. Why'd you have to come out of nowhere and do that? You're not a chick, you're just a crazy looking old man. Oh my gosh, there's... It's such an unfair thing fighting like three people at once, bro. Oh, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. I'm dipping. Bro, chill. Have some relaxation in your life. Please tell me there's not more people coming in. There is. Are you serious right now? All right, we got this, we got this, we got this. All right, wolf left. Wolf left. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh, I didn't chicken out that time and it paid off. What are these? It felt like there was infinite enemies in this camp and it was starting to get overwhelming. Oh, there's the little boss. We got a yellow health bar. Oh, we got a bunch of people too. I'm so dead. And I was met by my demise once again. I don't know what to do about weapons, man. We need to find a better weapon, but we can't find a better weapon without looting. But when we loot, we die. When I returned home, I unfortunately had to do some research about this game because I was getting nowhere. And it ultimately came down to the fact that I needed a pet or a thrall because they would greatly help me in battle. And I was struggling right now. While I don't know much about pets, I do know that the place below my base had elephants and rhinos. So I was headed there. Oh my Lord. There's so many rhinos. Here we go. That's it? You're not gonna chase me? Talk about some- th Oh, dude, you're easy. Hit me all you want, I don't care. I have a rhino, guys! I stole a rhino, and it was 50 pounds, and I almost- I almost peed myself. Alright, now what do we do with this rhino? How do I raise the rhino calf? Oh my goodness, okay. 400 wood, 300 stone, 20 twine. Easy enough. Do you see this? Why is it so- what? Okay. Pets, plus food. Give me my rhinoceros! Okay, I have a, a rhino. Oh my goodness gracious, I can't see, I can't see, but that's a big ass rhino. All right, let's go make a rhinoceros saddle. He's a greater rhinoceros. Okay, um, I need to go find a horse to complete this quest, and I also need to find spiders and slay them for the gossamer. I know my rhino can't be ridden, and this whole saddle thing was a huge detour, but I didn't know, so I still have to show my little adventure going to get gossamer and a horse. Is that a baby horse? Is that a baby horse? Can I take this? I got a horse! <laughs> I got a horse. Taking a step back, I also crafted these steel poniards, which ended up being a lot better than anything I've used so far. Let's put the fiber in there, horse in there. Horse raises up. I have a horse. Oh my gosh, I love these little daggers. War horse light saddle craft. Okay, for this, the rhino saddle. Oh, the rhino saddle. I can craft the easier one with just iron bars. Attributes. We have two levels, expertise for both. Damn, how did my how did my weight just go up to 175 from leveling up? Okay, so each level gives you maximum carrying capacity. Each level of strength deals damage. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. All right, we can craft the rhino saddle. Let's go. All right, not a huge fan of the horse. It's very slow and it steers like crap. Wait, what? Can I not ride this rhino? Okay, so I don't ride this guy. He just fights for me. I, I understand. I wasted my time with that rhino saddle. After all of that, I crafted two more sets of daggers. That way I would have backups if I was out fighting and one of them broke. Follow me. This is so cool, man. I feel on top of the world right now. Bobby, attack! Oh my gosh, the rhino is wild! Alright, how do I heal my rhino? Does he just heal over time, slowly? Rhino, fight! 
Let's go, buddy. I quickly found out that getting a pet or a thrall is something that I should have done way sooner. They take the enemy's aggro off you so you're not as stressed while fighting, and it's also an extra damage dealer. On top of all of that, these daggers go to show that changing your weapon to something that deals more damage makes a world of difference. Yo, my rhino is freaking nuts. Okay, oh, this isn't good. My rhino versus a bunch of werewolves. Oh, it's go time, baby. It's go time. Rhino, help me. Rhino, help me. If my rhino dies, I will be more than upset. Oh, kill the boss. Kill the boss. No, my rhino died? Screw you, butthole. I cannot believe that man just killed my rhino. I was so excited. I'm so sorry. We were such a good team. I will kill everyone in this damn town. I will kill everyone in this damn town. I'm sorry. You, will never return to your dead. you are nothing, bro. Firewater? Tastes like death, but packs a kick? No. Actually, I should take that. Just for the snow biome in case I can't find any- Oh, there's another part to my iron golem! While my rhino died, he did teach me an important lesson that I was able to fight all of these guys alone, and I was strong enough. And it gave me the confidence I needed to do the rest of this playthrough. So Mr. Bobby, Mr. Rhino, thank you. What is that, gold dust? Iron Guardian head. Oh my gosh, we almost have the whole Iron Guardian. With some research, I was told to head back to the altar where the chick was getting sacrificed and talk to this guy so he can teach me how to craft a golem. Learned golem constructor. Animated guardian. Guardian. Oh my gosh, a top. Okay. When I got back to my base, I went on a little building bender because my base was in dire need of an upgrade. And I was trying to place my new golem bench and there wasn't enough room. So that was another reason. Open. Okay, so we need two arms, two legs, chest, and a head. Animate Guardian. Animate the Guardian, locking its parts together and imbuing it with light. Okay, we need one more arm, one more leg of the Iron Guardian, and we can build him. After doing a lot of thinking, I figured everything I've been doing so far hasn't gotten me anywhere. I need to do something different. Maybe explore, maybe go to different parts of the map to see if I can uncover any answers. Greater Blood Crystal Rock Nose? What? Hold on. Blood Crystal. Little did I know, the further east I went, the closer I got to something that was crucial to this playthrough. But the creatures got a lot more dangerous the further I went. Ah, oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. I feel like all these dangerous things blocking my path should be, a, should be a sign to not go this way, but we're doing it anyways. And when I got to this temple looking place, the game immediately turned into Planet of the Apes and I was in grave danger. What in the hell, dog? Where is this place? Okay, we're coming up on it, finally. The Celestial Plaza. And more monkeys. What are you smashing? This is terrifying. This is actually terrifying. Oh, we just go straight in? Wait, is this even a dungeon or is it just... I fight the boss right off the bat right here. Can I leave if I want to? Guys, I'm so scared. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a purple aura. Oh, I have to fight these statues? Okay, I didn't let me dodge. I crouched instead. This is insane. This guy has so much health. What? What? Am I safe here in the middle? Uh, 
Yes, he will. That was good damage. Wait, is she she coming down yet? Oh, she is? I guess I didn't kill this golem fast enough. Golem's almost actually dead. There we go, there we go, there we go. It's just one on one now. Let me get the hits in. Let me get the hits in. Come on, damage. Oh, oh, we got these to worry about now? All right, these lasers are getting a little crazy. Oh my goodness, man. Damage, 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 damage. What? Come on, get me there. Oh my gosh, man, this is so scary. Come on. We got it. We got it. What'd she have on her? Take and take. Oh my goodness, hold on. Is there anything up here? Or is this just her throne? You have acquired knowledge. Lemurian royal armor. Oh, no way. Okay, so I guess I just unlocked the full Witch Queen set. I think that's everything. Okay, what is this? What do I do with it? I was extremely excited to have beaten this boss. It was the first thing that I actually did for a greater purpose in this entire playthrough, and I felt amazing. When I returned home, I started farming immediately for the improved armorer's workbench. That way I could craft the new Lemurian armor I achieved from beating the Witch Queen, just to find out that I have to be level 60. I have to reach level 60 before I can even craft that armor. Okay, I just got my boost and 100 health. Now we're at 500 health. We should be at 622, but I have uh, corruption, so that's a thing. Looking back at this, it was super extra, but I decided to make a casting table so I could then make glass flasks and then boil it on the stove for purified water. It was a lot. I could have just used water purified skins. Purified water, craft 10. Okay, why is the stove taking so long? There, there's something wrong with the stove that's bugging out, man. This ain't right. Does this need fuel? It needs fuel, and that would be why. Oh my gosh, there's no way. I've been this dumb the whole time. There's no freaking way, bro. Oh, it, that was the issue the whole time. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Start. Oh my goodness, finally. We've done it. Eat a proper meal. Use. Beautifulness, beautifulness, beautifulness. Since I was sure there was other bosses rather than just the Witch Queen, I picked up the Cartographer journey again. That way, I could maybe find another important story boss location. Let's fight through this entire Black Galleon. Oh man, it's so easy. It's so easy. We were just coming to all these places at the wrong point in the game when I was just too weak. I'm ready if you're ready. I'm ready. You're ready? I'm ready. You're next, dude. I'm so tired of these archers. Boop, boop. You have something else you want to say? Anyone. Anyone. I feel like this place is super low level and it's giving me terrible loot. After fighting through the Black Galley and the next place on my list was Supermaru for the Cartographer Journey. Okay. Looks safe enough so far. I don't see a dragon. No dragon, baby. Can I just get into this village safely? What's in here? What the hell? Nope. Nope. 
No. Unnamed city. I hear a freaking dragon, bro. And I think I'm in the wrong spot. Corruption! No, 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 no! Oh, Sepper... Sepper Meru. City of Relic Hunters. Okay, it looks safe unless I make it not safe. Guess we're just gonna roam around this village for a little bit and see what happens. Just like a little bar that's cute. Oh, look at the dancers. Get it. Get it. Oh, I'm losing corruption by watching them dance. Okay, we're just gonna sit here and talk. What the? Dad, that's what? That's crazy. What? What? Yes, I met Conan, the man himself, the man of the hour, but it wasn't really important for my playthrough. He just told me a little bit of lore and how he was the one that saved me from the cross, but other than that, I don't really think I had any purpose of talking with him. You guys remember the key I got from beating the Witch Queen? Well, it was named the Key of Rosma's Quarters, and this is Rosma, so I discovered her in this town as well. All she really told me is that she herself was the Witch Queen, but the mask made her crazy and something about the volcano, but but nothing else. How am I supposed to discover the volcano if I can't get to the volcano because I freeze to death before I even get to the volcano? Shut up! When I got home, I finally wisened up and had the idea of going to get myself a thrall. Quickly get some bark for everything, for our fuel. And then I wanna go try to find a thrall. So I need to find out how to make a truncheon or whatever it's called, truncheon. I want a companion that can go with us. That the rhino was awesome. I just like, I didn't know he was gonna die that quick to that werewolf. So I wanna find a companion that is just strong and beefy as hell. We lift pain, unlock. Oh, I can unlock this now, okay. Steel truncheon, crafted at torturer's work table. Okay, leather bindings crafted at torturer's work table as well. So I wonder if just the, the higher tier truncheons just do more uh, like torpor damage or something like that. Okay, so I can craft this. We got our steel truncheon and then our leather bindings. Uh, so this is the best shield here. Ah, uh, like sick on my back too. I like that. So I was looking at the, the a list of the best fighters and Leon seemed to be one of the really good ones that stuck out to me. So... We're going to try and kill everyone in this camp other than Leon, and we will knock him out uh, and try our best to get him back home, I guess. All right, maybe this was the wrong place. Maybe he's somewhere else. Is it this over here? Where's my boy, Leon? Oh, there's Leon. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, damn. Let's go, Leon. It's you and me. Oh, this guy has high freaking knock. Okay, 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 okay. All right, damn, cousin. It took me a while to figure out the best way to knock Thrall out, and using the shield was not one of the best ways. I got this, I got this. Okay, so heavy attacks do more. Yes, they do. I don't know if it was because of the type of thrall I was going after, but this whole interaction took forever. One more chain. Let's go. All right, we got him knocked out. We got him knocked out. He messed me up. All right, we got him bound. We got him bound, baby. Now we have to go back home. Not only did I have to spend a lot of my time knocking him out, now I had to carry him home. It's like he's not my slave, I'm his. When I finally got Leon back to base, I had to drop him here, go fight a boar, and then I went AFK for like 20 minutes because I had to take an important phone call, and little did I know, there's a freaking despawn timer on Thrall that you knock out. What? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd Leon go? Guys, no. I'm going to lose my mind. I have to go get him again. Let's go. We have everything. Okay, let's make this stupid thrall thing. Let me go get my freaking Leon man again. I hope that this isn't going to be an issue here. Gruel. Okay. All right, let's go get Leon again for the second time. For those of you who haven't played this game, you'll soon find out that the thrall wheel of pain that I crafted is to break them down and then make them yours. Leon, why'd you have to go and despawn on me, man? Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. We got him. Let's go back. You Dumbo, do not despawn again. You hear me? Do you hear me? Finally freaking home. Leon, play. We got him, baby. Crafting cue. 
Oh, okay. So there's a certain time that he has to do this. Got it. 210 elephant hide. I can craft that for myself. I just need a bunch of elephant hide for this whole set. Killing elephants wasn't hard. It was just more time consuming. So I spent most of the day doing this, harvesting them for that elephant hide, and then returning home to greet Leon, my new friend. All right, is my man Leon ready? He is, okay. Hey, buddy, come on now. Look at you. Okay, so this is what you have on you, all this stuff. All right, you stay here, give you all of your armor. I had a bunch of hand-me-down gear that I had used at some point in this playthrough, and I put it all on Leon to make him more beefy. The reason I wanted that elephant hide is so I could make the Hycranian Raider armor set, which made me look really cool, but also gave me an ass load of armor. 210 armor, follower damage plus 4%. Wow. Oh my goodness, guys. We are looking sick. All right, so we have steel. No, steel battle axe. We can craft. All right, Leon, let's go level you up, man. Now that I had really good armor, it was time for me and Leon to go take on some things that I wouldn't be able to do alone. My follower leveled up. All right, my follower's not following me, though. This excites me, man. I'm excited for our little journey together. It's you and me. I'm not alone anymore. You better not die like my rhino. You hear me? Let's go. Oh my gosh, he is a menace, bro. He's stronger than me. I've been doing everything wrong. Watch this man. He is an absolute tank. He is a tank. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll help you. Take him out, baby. Take him out. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so strong. Oh, he can hold heavy items for me. Let's continue on our path where we're supposed to be going. There is a crazy freaking beast up there. No siree, we are not doing that. James, where are you? Bond? Bond? Where the hell is the mounds? Oh, it's just this whole area? Wait, are these enemies? Oh, those are enemies. What on earth are we fighting right now? Why am I gaining corruption? Why am I gaining corruption? This reminds me of a uh, spirit summons from Elden Ring. Hardened steel pick. That's nice. What is that? Incense. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it was going to be something cool. It took me a while to figure out that the yellow health bar enemies are actually named Thrall and they're way better than generics. What does he have? An ancient crest. Ah, I'll take it. Remember when I crafted those battle axes? Well, I wanted to use something different rather than the daggers, and I was testing to see if it was good. So we can try to use this for a little bit, see how it works. I think we were just out to level him up. I guess getting me to level 60 is pretty important, too, so we'll just keep fighting. Okay, he killed two to my one. I feel not so great about myself. So the fire water should keep me alive while we venture off into the snow. I don't know how smart it was for me to go into the snow biome yet, but I knew that I wanted to head towards the volcano. Will you eat raw meat? Oh, you'll eat raw meat? You crazy, crazy man. Ah, <sighs> what's the last thing we have to do, man? Find the volcano. And then we get a Valeria sword. Ah, uh, volcano it is. I'm nervous for this. But we gotta get there. We gotta finish this journey and get this Valeria sword, whatever it may be. Am I freezing? Or is my armor actually good? I guessed this on a whim, but fun fact for anyone who doesn't know, you can eat ice and it'll cool you down while you're in the volcano and keep you alive. Not yet, at least. Very cold. There we go. Alright, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Use. You're feeling tipsy. But I'm warming up. Okay, I have a minute and 25 seconds. We need to put that fire water, like, in our slot. Do I have enough time to make it to this volcano? Uh, I think I can take this ridge the whole way there. Expertise, expertise. Now my weight is 310. That's beautiful, man. I'm very cold, but I'm not getting any colder, and I'm not dying, which is good. So I don't even really need this fire water. This game is, like, extremely impressive. Sometimes I'm just in awe. I don't even know what to say. The exploration. Like, there's so much to explore on this map. Oh, I think I see black ice. What the hell? Okay, seven. I wonder how much of this stuff I can carry. How in the hell do I make it in there? All right, we're gonna have to do this the hard way, but it's fine. Am I, wait, am I seeing the volcano down here? Dragon mouth? I don't think I want to do this. There better not be a dragon over here, dude. We can't, we can't fight a dragon. 
What? This is a dungeon? Oh, God. What on earth are we doing here? This doesn't feel right. Did I not? Is this not the volcano? Have I not found the volcano? I don't want to do this, man. There's a green beam coming from the ground. There's some scary stuff happening right now. There's a little demon right there. I don't want to fight that. What is this? This is just like a little mini guy. He's like screwing us up. A living magma? Who are these guys? There's a lot of them. I can't tell how much health he has. Well of Skelos. Don't be dying over there. Each floor of this well was kicking our butts. There was waves of enemies, and let me tell you, they hit hard. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, I'm level 60. I just realized I'm level 60. I'm max level. I'd prefer you to not fall off the map. What is this? Obsidian Greatsword? What did I just find? All right, we're going to use this. We're going to use this. What is your health looking like? You're f oh, you're level 10. Stats. Perk. Followers. Plus three quickness. Are you kidding me? We're doing damage now. Is this as far as we go? Nah, there's definitely a way to keep going up, but I don't know how to do that. I guess I gotta try to climb up. I guess that's one way of doing it. There was endless enemies on this tower, and it took me a few days to fight through all of it, but what I was about to find was... Come on, come on! Serpent Man, whoa! Is that all this place was, was just a bunch of knowledge? Part of me wants to jump into that. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. I trusted my gut, I made the leap of faith, and the well, in fact, was where I needed to go. Well, that's breathtaking. I hope we have enough ice to, like, get through this whole thing. I hope I can complete this. I really don't know what I'm in for. That's a lot of people. I'm pretty terrified, to be honest. This is, like... This place is nuts. I'm so scared right now, bro. I'm so scared. Oh, he could just run over fire. Or lava. That's so nice, man. Okay. I'm not worried. Here's where things get a little weird. I don't know if he's going to make this jump with me. Oh, he does. Nice. I was worried that thrall weren't going to work in here, but we're, we're chilling, baby. We're chilling. Oh, what do we have to do here? I just want to get to this damn boss. Obsidian spear. Iron go Golem Torso. Might as well, right? Oh, the gate opened when we killed him. Yo, Mr. Bond, I could really use some help with this, please. Okay, nice, nice, nice. What's this? Obsidian Mace. We got all of them Obsidian Tools. Why aren't you coming up, man? Which way do we go, or does it not matter? I don't know if it matters. We'll just go this way. Alright, looks like we gotta fight some more people. Yo, Mr. Bond, why'd you run away? we go down this way. Oh, that looks right. I don't know what the hell this is. This place is very impressive. I love the scenery here. Oh, this is definitely the boss room. Oh, no. You're the last of your kind, huh? Kingdoms, men, worlds. Let's go, fight me. Oh, there's more? Let's go, man. Let's go. Oh my gosh, he just keeps spawning him, dude. There we go. Let's go, big boy. Why? He just died? There's a bunch of chests back here. What's this? Oh, damn! Okay. 
Let's get out of here, I guess. Oh, wait. You know what? I just realized this looks very similar to the Witch Queen Palace. I guess we're gonna take this really ominous staircase upwards. The Black Keep. You hear that, Bond? We're at the Black Keep. I'm going crazy. What is this place? Should I be worried to go in here? This place was a maze-like dungeon, and it was confusing as hell to say the least. I had no idea where to go, and I spent a lot of time in here. I'm gonna go ahead and spare your beautiful souls and just skip to the part where I found the key to get into the boss room. They don't do that much corruption damage, but it's enough to, like, be annoying, you know? I didn't check everything in here. Is that a chest? Press E to interact. You have found a key. Where'd that key go? Ancient key. Okay, well, I have the key then. All right, if this is a boss door, if it is, I need to be ready. Oh, God. All I wanted to do was find the volcano, and I still haven't even gotten that achievement. Oh! Damn. Okay, okay, okay. His attacks are so freaking long. James Bond, I'm sorry, man. You're going to have to take the heat of these. That does not feel good. Come on, put in the work, baby. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. This guy looks crazy. We got this. Let me get the last hit. Let me get the last hit. The devil in iron? Heart of the king scourge. Tears of two races. A crystalline tear from Tyros the Deathbringer. Oh, there's a tablet. Out of the Silent Legion, King Scourge weapons, light Silent Legion armor, medium Silent Legion armor. We just did that. That wasn't bad, right? What a what a trip. Am I right? No, that doesn't really give me much, man. I don't think I care about these journal things anymore. All right, let's go ahead and place this here. Improved armorer's bench. Let's throw some crap in here. Silent Legion armor. Star metal. Where the hell do I get star metal from? Elephant hide. A lot of elephant hide. Hardened leather. Wow, that's expensive. Okay, let's place that there. I want to try to craft this sorrow sword. When I got home, I realized that for most of the things I wanted to craft, all of my benches were outdated. So you know what that means. It's time for house chores. Craft a weapon handle. I need 22 black ice and 33 hardened steel. Now if I put steel, iron, this in here, hardened steel, I have a bunch that I can craft. More work benches means more space, so I got to that as well. I then crafted a tinkerer's workbench, which allows me to craft mods for armor and weapons increasing durability, damage, and a couple of other cool things. Oh wow, this stuff's easy to make. And we can craft it. Okay, this looks like the long sword. I hope it is. But here we go. Let's get that crafted. Hopefully now we can crank out some crazy DPS. All right, let's see how this works. Ready? Let's get some weapon upgrades on this. Oh, it shows my golem being assembled on here, so I'm just missing an arm. That's so cool. I ran into the issue of needing oil for pretty much any endgame piece of gear, so I got started on farming for the fluid press. All you gotta do is throw berries or fish into this bad boy, and over time, it'll make a bunch of oil for you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, we need a bunch of ichor, and we also need to get a farm going for gold and silver. That way we could dismantle them or grind them down to make dust. And then we'll have our alchemic base. And once we have that, then we can make all the crazy armor we want. I want to be able to put me and my dude in a legendary set of level 60 armor. But before I went out to do anything, my base was in dire need of reorganization. So I placed down six storage chests. That way I could throw stuff into their designated areas. And then I reorganized all of my appliances. All right, hardened steel and oil should now be able to craft me advanced kits. Let's craft one of those and see what that does for our damage on our weapon. All right, now what does that do? 66 damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We interrupt this program to let you guys know that subscribing is in fact free and it doesn't harm you in any way whatsoever. 
If you guys like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get back to it. Now I should be able to boop, 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 and boop. Now I need to figure out how to make dyes. I want to I want to dye my dude's armor just straight black. I also got James Bond the Third's armor suited up. That way he didn't die because if he did, I would be sad and go into a deep depression. Now that is James Bond. I also had to add even more onto my base because there's 19,000 workbenches in this damn game. So we'll just skip forward to when I'm done. Now we've got this place all decked out. It's roofed, water-filled flasks and oil. Craft six. This is a huge waste of oil, but it's fine. The things I do for beautiful cosmetics. After getting that all situated, I started dyeing my armor jet black to get a final look that looked like this. Look at us. All right, you're almost looking as cool as me. It's fine, we're, we're riding in style, my man. I'm a dum-dum, I just figured it out. You just throw it in here. Composite obsidian, okay. The dismantling bench was super convenient for all of those old tools and gear that I wasn't gonna use. I just broke them down for decent resources. We need to find a bunch of spiders. And I don't necessarily know how we're gonna do that. Like I said earlier, we needed a bunch of ichor to be able to craft alchemical base, so finding spiders was the next thing on my list. Oh, there was that spider boss at the beginning of the game that I avoided like crazy. Wait, this is where all the spiders were. It is, it is. Come at me, spiders. question of where the hell are you oh there you are am i gonna die a sad death or are we gonna kill this spider oh i hate that i hate the way that looks oh lordy that's a big spider oh okay that hit me that hit me Oh, damn. Man is upset. He is upset. We got this, baby. We're almost there. Let's go. 285,000 experience. We're rolling in the icker now. Is there a chest here for beating that guy? That would make sense, wouldn't it? It would. Momentum. What the hell is that? A mace that swings with great force. Legendary shield smash weapon. 53 damage. Let's see if that's any better for you, bud. Let's go kill some spiders. Oh my gosh, it's way better. So we need to throw the ichor in there so i need you following me we're gonna make our way back over to the volcano what the hell is that thing over there man i don't know what that is but we're gonna go fight it bud I decided we wanted to head back to the volcano because I needed to farm obsidian nodes for gold and silver. Both of those were highly necessary in crafting alchemical base, which is what you needed to craft Hardened leather. Oh, no way. Oh, baby, let's go. Oh, that's a boss. Oh, he breathes little fires. That's cute. What the hell did he just do to me? Oh my goodness. Why did this man just give me so much stuff? Potion, potion of natural resets knowledge points? Oh, no way. I still have not discovered the volcano. Are you freaking kidding me? What in the Kentucky Derby is going on here? It's like two huge structures. I kind of want to see what that is. This looks terrifying. Temple of Frost. Oh, he's coming. He's coming! This temple was way too cold for my little body to handle. My health was dropping rapidly, and there was no way I'd be able to get through this entire thing. How the hell am I supposed to survive in this freaking biome? All right, we need to go home. We need to regroup and decide what we're doing next. The obsidian I can't even do anything with unless I go to an actual location and smelt it. It's 10 per 
That's gonna be uh, around a thousand. I wanted to take a break from grinding and head back to the unnamed city to see if I can uncover any more answers. I never fully explored this place because of the corruption, so let's see what's here. Oh, there's a legendary chest up here. Hey, come on. James Bond, where are you? 16,000. Owie! Oh, Bond is not doing great on health. We need to take this guy down now. Ow! Come on, he's at 900 health. Come on, come on! Woo-wee! Strangely familiar axe, are you kidding me? That was so worth it, I guess. Not really. Dude, what? You got jacked up, brother. James Bond, pull out your damn, your damn sword and shield. Let's go. Jack him up, man. That didn't feel good. Oh, he's pissed. Damn it. Oh, there's the tail swipe. Sent me flying. Keep slicing and dicing. Keep slicing and dicing. 800, 600. He's going down. He's going down. Let's go! Dragon head. Dragon bone. What did you have? Eye of the Watcher? That's a sword? That's a thing? That looks like a boss fight if I've ever seen one. Let's go. Let's go down there. I decided to go deeper into the city because of stated earlier. I wanted some answers and things kept getting weirder. Oh, that's where you can jump down. I'm glad I didn't. I thought there was going to be water down here. What is this? Is this like a map room? And who are you? Just a shadow. This place sucks. Who are you? I am me. Oh, that is a boss. I wonder if guys like this can be like thralled, you know? Like if we could capture guys like this. What does he even have? Heart of a hero? Oh, damn, that's a lot of skeletons. Bond, you got this, buddy. You got this, this is all you. The bosses in this town were plentiful and I wanted to fight through all of them to make sure I wasn't missing any crucial information. What? This guy is crazy looking. He's not that hard. Oh man, this is a cool fight. I like this guy. Okay, I actually got hit twice there. That's fine. Come on, let me kill him, let me kill him. Okay, what did we get here? Legendary weapon repair kit. Fragment of power. Don't know what that is. Gold coin. Steel bar. Lying bastard sword? Did I just get his sword? Oh, damn. Is that a bat? Oh, he flies? After taking my aggression out on literally every enemy in this town, I decided that I should get back to the main story and figure out how to beat this game. Oh, what the hell is that? No way! I did not know there was silver. I might be able to make this Legion armor soon. Abandoned silver mine? Now I have a feeling there's gonna be a bunch of silver in here, but also a bunch of scary stuff. I didn't know at the time, but what we had found was the dungeon of the Scorpion Queen. Okay, I hope we can do this. James has already taken a lot of damage. He does not do good with poisonous creatures. He he almost died to that spider, too. Oh, come on. Please tell me we can beat this. He's at 800. 600. I will be so upset if James Bond dies. 
Come on! Kill him! Please! We're almost there! We're almost there! Oh my gosh! 173 health! Oh my goodness! There's another boss. There's another boss. That, that wasn't even the main boss. Once Mans is done healing, I guess we'll go fight this thing. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we're stacking up the cripple and bleed damage. He's not moving. That's so good. This one's so much easier than that other scorpion. Look at that. Look at that. What do you got in your inventory? No. What? Scorpion ward and a skeleton key. What's the scorpion ward? It's a shield with heat. Yeti has great saber. 60 damage. Legendary cripple. Armor penetration 23. Oh, it's electricity? Guys, I think we have everything we need now to be able to craft this legion armor. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You're forgetting about the star metal there, bud. Are we about to get our iron golem? My golem turned out to be a farming golem when I thought he was going to be some crazy, big, strong, beefy fighter. So I didn't want to spend too much time on this because I didn't use him. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't use him often. I just gained corruption from doing that. What? No chance. 14,000 health. Silent Legion pauldrons, which I need star metal for. Damn it. All right, we need to figure out star metal then. Star metal is probably the hardest resource to find, especially on the Exiled Lands map, which I'm playing on, because you can only find it when an event happens, which is called a meteor shower, and those happen every couple of hours, as far as I'm concerned. As much as I've been in the snow biome this entire playthrough, I haven't seen it once. And to top it off, this happened when we got jumped by a mammoth and a wolf. Yeah. What? He died? My best friend, my follower, he died. Stupid mammoth. Oh my goodness. I am livid. I am so upset. That my man just died like that. After dropping some stuff at home, I headed back out to try and find a resource called Glowing Goop, which is used in crafting absinthe. And that's when I found this crocodile boss that was necessary for the story. He gave me another piece to this broken scourge, whatever the hell. Let's go, big boy. Come on. After destroying that alligator within a couple of hits, I headed back to this crystal cave and I went down into the water on a whim and found glowing goop. What is this? Glowing goop? I also put this guy in his place for bullying me really early on. The only difference is this time when I offered the sacrifice, it gave me a damn gorilla. Boon of gorilla. I got a gorilla. Oh, by the way, I had to head back to the den where the werewolves were so I could find the recipe for the absinthe, which is located here. All right, guys, after finding that brewing recipe, I should have absinthe unlocked. I do. So leaving a, a leavening agent. Where the hell do I find that? And then purified water. Purified water is easy. Oh, I have a bunch of those. Absinthe was a drink that warmed you up like crazy, and it was going to be the only way I could survive long enough in the snow biome to find star metal. And absinthe, I can craft 19, baby. Let's go. So I'm going to have my golem come with me. That way I can just stack up like hundreds and thousands of pounds. Take it from me if you're new to this game. Before you go and look for star metal, craft these dragon powder bombs, explosive jars, whatever you want to call them. Before you go and spend hours looking for star metal, finally find it just to find out that you can't harvest it without bombs. Oh my gosh, guys. The meteors just fell. Oh my gosh, that just happened. All right, let's see. There we go. And then four. I should be able to place that there. Oh my gosh, guys, it worked. There we go. Alright. Star metal time. Let's go! Oh my gosh, we just got 1,044 star metal. Oh, the weight. The weight was so worth it. Okay. Let's deposit all of this into our golem, and then we'll keep moving. We'll see if we can find another one. How do I light this thing? 
Oh, I have to press E. That's wild, man. 12, we just got over 2,000 star metal. We can't carry any more though, so it's time to go back home. I think I just figured it out and I'm glad that I had this man get black ice for me. Okay, so it's star metal, black ice, and brimstone. Brimstone, I have a lot of brimstone. And once we throw all of this in here, we get star metal bars. Would you look at that? Silent Legion, Pauldron, 385 armor. Craft, craft, craft. Guys, we have a full set of Silent Legion armor. Equip, 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 equip. Oh, that looks sick. All right, now let's go ahead and dye all this armor. Guys, look at me. I look like an absolute freaking menace. 1280 armor. No one is breaking my damn stance anymore. Okay, so let's go find ourselves a really good thrall, and then we'll go do the sinkhole after we level them up a little bit. How about that? Look at me. Damn. I heard from a very reliable, faithful source that the Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker was the best thrall you could get for fighting. So naturally, I had to beat him with a club for 10 minutes straight until he was knocked out. Jeez, he almost killed me. That was so messed up. Don't do that crap to me. Don't do that crap to me. Let's go home. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Oh, now that I have all these rare resources, I wonder if I can make better potions. Pure aloe extract, it's 50 aloe leaves and alchemical base. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and stick with the concentrated aloe extracts because I'm not, I'm not wasting 20 alchemical base per one of these. He's gonna wear what I was wearing before the Hycranian armor set. Come to papi. Hello, mister. Damn, look at his health and he's level one? What does he come with? Fire orbs and iron poniards? <laughs> Look at him. After suiting up my new thrall, I headed back to the unnamed city to farm this brute because I heard that you can get one of the best weapons from him. But to your surprise, I never got it. All right, let's go, brute. It's time to it's time to die now. It's time to die. This is annoying the hell. Out of me! Die! There we go. What you got on you? A fragment of power, legendary weapon up, okay. I then took myself and Yoshi over to the big sinkhole in the middle of the map to fight the bone dragon, if that's what it's called. Okay. Um, there might have been a better way to do this. That looks a lot more dangerous than the ones we've fought in yet. Me and my level five Yoshi are about to fight this. I don't want to do this. We gotta, let's kill all these skeletons first. Fourteen K. All right, we've got this. This is a big boy dragon, huh? A really big boy dragon. Oh, he is upset. He is upset. This thing's crazy looking. Oh, his reach. Bro, Yoshi is cracked out of his mind. Alright, 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 alright. Yo, 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 chill. Let's go, baby! What the hell? Dude, I don't know what all this random stuff is that I'm getting. Wait, what is that? Oh, there's a tablet here. 
Oh! So here it is. I finally caved and looked up how I'm supposed to beat this game, and I didn't like the answer that I found. But basically, the way you beat the game is by removing your bracelet and escaping. Just but in doing so, it kills your character and it deletes them forever. Oh, there's just a boss right there. Oh, you do no damage, bro. I can fight through this. You're easy. Who is this guy? This is like one of the easiest bo boss fights. I can just tank him out. Let's go, man. He's already almost dead. Let's go. What you got for me? Is that it? Oh my gosh, is that another freaking artifact? And with the Barrow King dead, there was only one more boss I needed to take down before I had all pieces to both the Scourge Stone and the Keystone. Buccaneer Bay. It's like a big pirate ship. They built a whole little city out of it. They're thriving. Wait. Gallo the Spearden. Who are you? Shattered Scourge Stone piece. What is this stuff? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a bunch of artifacts. I don't know what to do with any of this stuff, though, dude. Oh, man. It's so, it's so sad that we're already on day 100. I feel like we haven't even scratched the surface of what we can do on this map. There we go. Look at that, man. That's so cool. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this entire journey. It's been one of my craziest ones yet, but it's not over. With the time we have left, let's go and fight one more boss. Alright, there it is. Oh gosh. Alright. Alright. Your full health. It's time to go, baby. Oh, damn, bro. They do so much damage. Okay, 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 okay. Holy crap, dude. They get pissed off so quick. Here we go, baby. Here we go. I get it. You're upset. Come on. I want to take this thing down so bad. Okay, okay. Damn! There we go. Man's is going crazy. Damn, okay, okay, okay. Wow, that obliterated me. I'm running, I'm running, I'm out. All right, Yoshi's doing fine. I need to heal. That really hurt, man. Oh, what did he just do? Come on, baby. This is it. Get him! Get him! Let's go! Oh, we got there. Oh, man. Oh, there he is. There it is. What is the shield? Ak Bata Ak Batanen. Ak Ak Ak. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and head home. And we will call it a day. Alrighty, my friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This video was a lot of fun to make, but all good things must come to an end for now. I'll see you guys in the next video, and remember, I love you all.